Good morning, everybody. I'm so happy to see you. All my dogs think for I'm talking to them. They'll calm down here in just a second. Um, so this morning, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a piece of artwork um, using the things that you have at home. And this should be a lot of fun. Uh, there should be no stress. And you do have some artistic freedom um, in doing this. So what I'm going to be using, uh, I'm going to be using a piece of uh, junk mail. Um, you can use stuff like this that your parents are throwing away um, that are just kind of like the, the uh, window envelopes from their uh, mail. You can use the back of a paper plate. Uh, the thing about using the back of a paper plate is that sometimes it's kind of slick. You want to make sure it has that, um, you don't want it to be slick. So if you've got something, if you've got something that is slick, then you can always use like a little bit of sandpaper or just something rough to kind of uh, beat it up a little bit. You could use, um, oh, anything that's light color that that feels kind of like the watercolor paper or the uh, paper we have in class um, not necessarily our sketch paper but I mean that that should still work just fine um, but what we're going to be doing we're going to be making art throughout the week that is um, something we're going to be building into a book so every piece that we make is going to be um, combined when you get back to school and we're going to make a book out of it. Um, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to open up your envelope. And so if that's what you're using or your paper plate, and you're just going to have this kind of ready to go. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need some coffee. So a little bit of coffee um, in a little coffee cup. Um, it can be old coffee. It doesn't matter. You're not going to be drinking it. Instead, you're going to be um, painting with it. And we're going to use it kind of like um, a watercolor. And so we're going to be dipping using things like um, Q-tips. You can use cotton balls. You can use, if you have a paintbrush at home, you can use a paintbrush. Um, you can use your fingers. You can use anything that will help you apply the coffee onto your paper. So the first thing you're going to do, um, the theme for today is going to be actually a coffee cup. So this is going to just kind of kick us off. So what you're going to do, you're going to draw an oval, okay? Let me show you what that looks like. You're just going to draw an oval, just like that. Everybody's is going to be different. But the reason we're drawing an oval like this is so we can see down into the cup, okay? So it's like we're looking over uh, the top, okay? So then we're just going to draw kind of like a smiley face that goes underneath it. Just a smiley face that kind of goes whoop like that, okay? So let me go ahead and do that. Just like that. You guys see? Yeah, it's not hard. Then what you're going to do, you're going to do the letter C. And you're going to do the letter C where to make the handle. Okay? So you're going to make a handle just by drawing one line like that. It kind of looks like an ear too, doesn't it? So we need to double this up though to really make us have a real handle to grip onto, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and do another line on the inside of that, like this. All right? Okay, now, here comes the part where we're gonna be adding a saucer. You know, the plate that goes underneath. So what you're going to do, you're actually going to make like an oval that mirrors this one that you did first, but instead you're gonna do it bigger and underneath this plate. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm just going to really mirror that oval that I did on the top. Now I'm running into, I'm running into my window, my little window here. That's perfectly fine. That's totally fine. 
okay? Don't, don't get upset. You're all right. Um, and I, I may actually like that. That may be one of those happy mistakes, right? And so you're just going to draw this saucer all the way out, just like that. I'm also going to kind of add where I want to remember that I've got where I've got maybe a shadow where the cup is going to be sitting on top of the saucer. So I might actually draw another little oval kind of underneath here to kind of help me remember that that's where a shadow is. You with me? I hope so. Okay, so another thing you can do is this line up here at the top. This line right here. Right here. I'm also going to do another one just kind of inside my cup. And that's going to make it look like I've got coffee in my cup. Just like that. Okay? And it's okay if it's a little off kilter. I kind of like that. I'm making mine to look like that. I like that. Um, I like that sketchy sort of look. I like, um, I like it to look handmade when it comes to this sort of thing. So you don't have to be 100% realistic, all right? Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to draw like some, maybe some little leaves, maybe like a little flower, um, just to kind of help me decorate my cute little coffee cup like this okay so I just did a little swirly line and then these little little oopsies right there right and then a little cloudy sort of flower shape and all that you can do whatever you want if you want to make this a, a Marvel theme cup then do it if you want it to be a Christmas coffee cup then do it okay this is completely up to you you guys know I've been obsessed with carrots lately so if I were you I'd probably actually be putting carrots on my coffee cup I think that's kind of fun um, also if you want to draw a spoon coming out of your coffee cup like the handle you can totally do that just draw a spoon kind of like that it's going into the coffee so it's it's great all right if you want to lay the cup the spoon across the 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 uh, saucer you can that's not a problem all right but after you get this drawn now this is going to be a multi-step um, situation okay um, once you get this drawn what you're going to do you're going to take a, a q-tip into your coffee and kind of soak it in there like this, okay? Then what you're going to do, you're gonna start applying the coffee, okay? Now you want this to kind of go all over, especially at first, unless you want there to be a, unless you want there to be a, a glare, okay? So you're going to apply the coffee all over and this is almost kind of like an underpainting. You know when we did watercolors? You know how it comes, um, how it really is pretty light um, in the beginning. And so that's what's going to happen. You're just going to put this coffee down and just kind of put it on there like crazy. Okay? And like I said, you want to just kind of put it all over because the whole thing you want tinted, right? With your hue. You remember that? Hues and shades and tints, right? But in this case, we're not gonna be really adding uh, black or white um, to get our, our tints or our shades. Instead, we're just gonna be playing with the buildup of the coffee and that stain that it creates, right? So have you ever seen um, when somebody sets a, a teacup down or a coffee cup down and it leaves the ring on a piece of paper, um, especially after it, after it dries, it gets a lot darker. Um, that's what we're going for, okay? So first step is putting your coffee down and it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look real washy, real light. 
Um, but the thing is, is that you've got to let this dry and then you're going to come back on top of it. And you're going to be thinking about where there's going to be shadows, where you want there to be some movement. Um, you're not doing anything to this except putting coffee on it. Um, so after this first um, tint is down, this first shade, this first hue, um, then you're going to be adding more on top of it and it will get darker in the places that you put it. You want to be very specific on where you put the, the coffee from now on because anywhere you put it, it's going to get darker, okay? Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, add a picture of some finished pieces that artists um, have done before. Remember, we are making something that's going to be going into a, a book that we're going to be making out of pieces of junk mail or, or um, the things that would be thrown away um, from the mail. So make sure you, you're, you tell your parents that you're going to need that this week um, because we're going to be making little pieces of art um, with those. Okay, and then we're going to be bringing them back to school once all this is over and we're going to be making something really, really, really cool with it. Um, make sure, really quick, make sure that you wait until this is completely dry and then you go back on top of it. So you're going to work on it a few times throughout the day just to darken it up. Okay, um, tomorrow we'll have another piece to do. We're still going to be using the coffee and the Q-tips or the, the um, cotton balls or paintbrush if you have it, you know, anything that you can use. You can use your fingers to kind of drip and move it around. Um, it's really up to you, okay? There is no wrong in this. The only, thing that, the, the only thing that matters to me is that you're trying. You must try. Um, now, you need to make sure you tell everybody in your, from your class or if you know that they have me, you need to make sure that you tell them that um, I'm posting an assignment on Google Classroom, okay? Now, this is meant to be fun. This is not meant to be something that, oh, I want to, you know, I wish we didn't have this to do or, or anything like that. I want this to be fun for you. I know you're stuck in. I'm stuck in too. Um, but here's the thing. We're going to stay healthy and we're going to make sure that we all stay happy, okay? So um, this is a way for you to just make some art while you are um, stuck in and, uh, and staying healthy and um, using things that don't cost anything. We, I don't, you know, you can even use coffee that um, was left over from somebody drinking coffee if that was the last one. It really doesn't matter, okay? Um, so, but there is no reason for you to have to go out and buy anything. Do not go out and buy anything. You can use uh, not only coffee, but you can also use tea. Tea is not going to be as dark as quickly, um, but that will work as well, okay? So anything like that, you can totally use. If there's something else that you think might work, then do it. You know, if, you're, if you don't have any coffee or tea drinkers in the house, then, um, then go ahead and try, you know, talk to your parents um, and ask them what, what they think would work, you know, as far as like staining. You want something that's going to stain, Okay, so, um, but I don't want any markers, I don't want any crayons, I don't want any watercolor, anything like that. We're trying to use kind of some unconventional things this week. Okay, so um, make sure to let your, um, your classmates know that something's posted and I hope to be hearing from you. I can't wait to see your progress. Um, I would love for you to be posting pictures of your progress on our Google Classroom, okay? Uh, so I can see all your creativity going. All right, so um, I miss you guys bunches, and um, but just make sure you're staying healthy. That's what makes this whole thing worth it, okay? You've gotta stay healthy, all right? So um, anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow. I can't wait to see what you guys are making. All right, bye sweethearts.